guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Beautiful people, Sherry here. Welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading. Uh, so this is going to be from April 6th until the 18th, I think. Uh, sorry, the 13th. 6th until the 13th. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, so I just shuffled my little deck there. And I noticed the Two of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles is all about change and finding balance during that change, feeling like the world is, um, you know, shifting beneath your feet, feeling like you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. Okay, so I've got my big deck shuffled. So let me pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the positions. And I just want to say a special thanks to the patrons that have pledged um, to help, you know, keep the channel running. It, um, you know, without you guys, I probably wouldn't be doing the videos because um, I'm concentrating on the book and, and stuff like that. Eh? So you guys are keeping the channel running, and um, I thank you so much for that, you guys. Are amazing okay so I'm probably not going to pull any confirmation cards unless it's absolutely necessary we'll leave that for uh, the extended reading okay so I'm actually going to give this you know what let me pull this two pentacles up and just give this another quick shuffle all right so let's begin so starting with the feminist past position the page of pentacles let's see where is that light gonna look good maybe i'll just lift it up a bit all right so the page of pentacles um so this is concentrated effort on you know trying to create a successful endeavor for the future so this is a commitment to work you know hard work sitting down either studying uh trying to fine tune your your skills um, this could even mean moving to another location. So the feminine basically has had her uh, nose in the books, right? She's, she's looking for information and she's trying to better herself. So the page usually means uh, a new start. So this is a new beginning that took place in the past position. Okay, the masculine's past is the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, so pentacles is a major theme for the past. So this is all about the 3D reality. Um, so the the seven of pentacles is waiting for waiting for a return, waiting for a payoff. Um, but you're forced to pause, right? And so during this pause, you're reflecting on where you made mistakes, where things turned out great, where you want to invest your time and energy. So the masculine has been in a pause um, and is contemplating. Okay, so the present position for the feminine, the star, hope. So this is a healing energy. It, um, it offers hope for the future. So it comes in and you know vibrates your soul on a positive level and uplifts you. This card also means that your wishes uh, are coming true. So you're feeling optimistic about how the, the future is looking. So we see here that whatever you began in the past um, is, is giving you hope. It's, it's um, moving you forward. You're in, moving into a more positive vibration um, and you will see the fruits of your labor your wishes and dreams will come true. Okay, so what's in the masculine's present? Wow, yang. 
what's very cool about this card showing up here is that was the final outcome, wasn't it, for last week's Twin Flame reading? I can't really remember. Um, but I know, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a major theme. The masculine was finding himself, his truth, his power, his strength. So he's sitting in this energy. So during that phase of contemplation, um, you know, there was manifestation. There was, you know, he feels powerful as a result of the choices that he's made. So the yang is power. It's um, courage, uh, strength. Uh, he's a leader. Um, and it's extroverted energy as well. So, but I really see this as the masculine being in his truth, being in his, you know, the, the, the yang gets his power from authenticity. So, wow, very cool synchronicity. Okay, near future for the feminine, Ace of Cups. So, another new beginning. So, this is love coming into your life. So, it could be a new relationship. Um... Or it could be, you know, starting something with the masculine. So this card comes with conditions. Um, you need to have healed yourself, let go of the past and move on. Um, and, but you also need to be in a frame of mind where you're ready to receive love fully into your life, right? So this shows that you've done your work and, and the cards are, are reflecting that as well. near future for the masculine the universe card so this is the end of the fool's journey um so a major sense of accomplishment and the universe is patting you on the back um so we can see that there has something has completed you know we were waiting um you're feeling strong and confident and then that cycle completes so this represents your journey um, as a fool, you know, going through all the different stages of awakening. Um, and so in the near future, there will be this sense of accomplishment and success. Okay, so let's leave the final come for later. Um, we'll move into the union energy. So what's the feminine bringing in? Three of Pentacles, stability, foundation, groundedness. Um, this is also... You know, this card can come if you're an artist. Uh, so it shows that you have a lot of t skills and talents that you've been utilizing. So in terms of the union, sh the feminine has um, created a sense of stability and hope for the future, right? There's a lot of optimism also associated with this card. So what is the masculine bringing in? Nice. Oh my God. Another wish fulfilled card. The nine of cups means you're, you feel like everything is working out. You feel accomplished, right? The nine of cups is nearing the 10. Um, the 10 is peace and harmony within all areas of your life. And this is celebrating love, feeling successful, feeling that you're supported. So this is what he's bringing into the union for the next week. Feeling like your wishes have come true um, and feeling that emotional connection as well. So at the foundation we have the four swords. It's the wrong image. So the three swords obviously comes before the four and it shows heartbreak. So the four swords is healing from that heartbreak. So as a foundation, shared energy, both aspects um, have retreated into a state of um, tranquility, rest, rejuvenation, healing. Okay, and we can see that healing still taking place with the feminine, but um, she's in a really good place right now. Okay, so maybe this waiting was causing some heartbreak, I don't know, but this is a good card. This the this says that, you know, you've been through a lot and so you've retreated from a bad situation in order to look after yourself. The crowning energy, wow, five of cups, okay, so this is telling me that, you know, there's mourning being felt between the two. There's 
um, we got a four of swords, which is, you know, the heartbreak and then mourning comes from that heartbreak. So this is a crowning energy. This is what you both desire as an, you know, a future outcome. Um, you know, and it's in the future. This is what you're working towards is five of cups. You don't want to feel alone. You don't want to feel heartbroken anymore. You want these wounds uh, to be healed as, you know, a shared energy between both aspects. So the extended reading will definitely draw out, um, you know, more details. Okay, so what's at the heart? Ace of Wands, another Ace. So this is a spark, a Kundalini awakening, and it's a new beginning that's more in line with spirituality. So go like, go time. So there has been, you know, uh, this clear decision to move forward in the heart space. And so that's why the, the masculine is bringing in the Nine of Cups. He desires to connect on a soul level. You know, um, so what I'm seeing here is an exciting time of reconnection. Um, the masculine is completing a major cycle. The feminine is healing her heart and opening up. And you both desire to close that gap. Final outcome for the feminine. What? The Four of Wands, oh my God, spiritual union and into the physical reality. I use the Four of Wands as confirmation of a twin flame connection. Holy crap. So this is her final outcome, feeling like she has arrived and she's celebrating life with her, her masculine. Um, so this could mean, you know, engagement, marriage proposal, a commitment of some kind. Um, moving in together, buying a home. It's a major, major sense of commitment and completion. Final come for the masculine. Five, or, sorry, four of pentacles. Interesting to see that there. Um, so this is somebody who's holding on too tightly, who's closed off, um, res resistant to change, stuck in their old ways. So let me just pull one card as confirmation. The devil, the ego. Okay, so what I'm sensing from this is the masculine closing off from the ego. The ego um, is a chain that's holding him back, a codependent relationship, an addiction, self-limiting beliefs. So as a final outcome, I feel this, this cutting off or closing off um, of the ego, which is a positive thing, right? I'm seeing so much strength. Um, the universe is on your side, so much love in your heart. And so this is what ha is helping you to, to close yourself off, not be affected in the 3D reality by the ego. Okay, so what is the overall energy of the reading is the Queen of Fire. Interesting. So the Queen of Fire is somebody who's very charismatic, center of attention. She wants to be seen. She wants to be known. She wants people to know her name. So she stands out in a crowd and people are drawn to her, drawn to her light. So this is a, a shared energy of the overall reading for both twin flames. They're in this energy. So the masculine um, could be attracted to this queen of fire, you know, who's holding that ace of fire in her hands. Um, and, you know, the final outcome is the four of fire, right? So much passion, so much love and spirituality here. Uh, so in terms of the, the feminine, this is what she is embodying. All right, so let me pull two cards from, um, call it Baron Reed. Whiz whoa, Wisdom of the Oracle, interesting. The Yang just popped up. Same card over there. So this is extroverted energy. Um, this isn't for any one person, so I'm just going to put it up here. We're not going to read it. So it is a number one. And what I'm seeing here is masculine hands offering or reaching out. 
Okay, so just one card, please, for the feminine first. Serendipity and the masculine. Chop wood. Okay, there you go. Confirmation that you are unchaining yourself. You're cleaning house. You're releasing things that no longer serve you. So I'll read the, the feminine first. Okay, so the essential meaning is opportunity allied with readiness, the awareness of synchronicity, luck, and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, a magical alignment of events. And so the, the four of wands is my 1111 card, and 1111 is all about synchronicity. It's uh, the wake-up call when you start seeing the 1111 on a clock or, or picking up on synchronicities like, you know, hearing a song when you're thinking of somebody uh, or their name, you know, that kind of thing. Then you know that there's greater forces at work here. So the message from the universe is that they are sending, it is sending you messages. So the relationship message. Spirit has a plan, and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone very vitally important to your journey. Someone spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan for this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. So that's that new beginning, that ace of cups there. Right, you've done the healing, and as a result, your wishes and dreams are coming true, and there's going to be a new start, an activation in the near future, and which is leading to this, you know, your true love, that serendipity, dipitous moment. Spirit has a plan. Okay, so number 42. Okay, so the masculine, essential meaning, being grounded in everyday experience, humility. So the relationship message is nothing is as important right now as doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls in the everyday tasks at, um, when the everyday tasks are at center of awareness. This is a perfect time now to hold hands, wash dishes, make a, a fire, read a book, share a meal. That's what this is all about, celebration. Say nothing, stare into each other's eyes. Yeah. Um, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work just to be all is well, really. All right, so, you know, taking pleasure in, in the simple things of, in life, right? And we see that nine of cups there. That's all about just being freaking happy with where you are. You're pursuing things that make you happy. Um, yeah, so this issue um, needs to be addressed. Okay, so um, you're either closing off to the ego um, or closing off to material needs, material possessions. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to stop the video there and do the extended reasoning, reading. If you'd like to purchase the reading, you could click on the link below and it'll take you to my website. All right, cheers, guys. Much love.